In this video, I'm going to show you what you need to install to use the um, ImageJ macro uh, to segment uh, droplets within cells. Uh, so, first of all, on the GitHub page uh, where you that is dedicated to this macro, uh, so we have several files. Uh, what is uh, really interesting for us is to download the, the macro. So if I click in here, I can then download it. So that's the macro we will use within Fiji. And we also need to download uh, this file, which is a, a Python uh, file, but it's it's a Jiten file, actually. So, uh, so we can uh, use the log detector that was designed uh, to be used in, um, in TrackMate, which is uh, very efficiently uh, implemented. Uh, so we'll use this to um, segment the droplets. Okay, so I'm going to uh, download it. Then we need to um, install Fiji and the required plugins. So if you have Fiji already, it's all good. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how you can uh, download it. So I'm going to type in Fiji download. You then have access to the imagej.net uh, website and you can um, download the correct version. So I'm using Windows 64 bit. I'm going to use one of these two links to download Fiji. So it takes a bit of time. So I'm going to uh, speed up video so you don't have to uh, wait for the entire downloading time. All right, it's down, so I can uh, then go to my uh, download folder in here. And so I have uh, Fiji, I'm going to put it on my desktop. And those two, I'm going to also put them on my desktop, so you can put wherever you want. So you'll see that Log TrackMate, we're going to put it in a specific location. The macro, you put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's easier. Fiji is unzipped, so I can get rid of it. To be able to use the log implementation um, of TrackMate, we need to open Fiji to go in uh, scripts. Here we have a, um, a folder which is called plugins, and in this folder, we're going to drag and drop log track mate. Okay. Now, if I go back to the Fiji app, I have this executable that I can uh, launch. And, uh, and we still have um, plugins to install. But before that, we're going to check that we can actually use uh, log track mate as it was uh, defined. So if I go to plugins, if I go all the way down, I can see that I have log track mate. And so that means that we can use it. So you can actually open an image and use it and you'll be able to enter the parameters for the log, which are the scale, log radius and the quality. Um, so if you want, you can just use this as a plugin. We'll see that we'll um, use it embedded into uh, the Fiji macro. So we still need to um, add two other uh, plugins. So if you go to help update, you can add new plugins. So first it checks which plugins are uh, installed. Uh, within those plugins, uh, are there any plugins that, that, that were updated since they were installed in Fiji? So here we just installed Fiji. It's very much likely that no plugin has to be updated. 
But if you use Fiji regularly, it's, it's a good idea to, uh, to use this help update to make sure that you have the latest version of the plugins you are using on a daily basis. Um, so here you see there are a few of them uh, that need to be uh, actually updated. And I'm going to add new ones. So to add new ones, you can go to Manage Update Sites. We need to use to add um, PTB app, which is a plugin that's going to uh, be able to allow us to do the bridge between Salpos and Fiji. So I'm going to add it. And then I'm going to add um, MorphoLibJ. So it's IJPB plugins. Uh, so I'm going to check this one as well and now I can apply and close so I added the app so PTB app and it will be um, so it will appear as a BIAP plugin and also MorphoLibJ so I can apply changes and so whenever you install new plugins in Fiji you need to restart Fiji so it's downloading installing and uh, it's going to tell me that I have to restart so everything went well, I need to restart. So image J, which is Fiji, and you can always check that because you have a Fiji logo here. I'm going to close it. I'm going to open it again. And, uh, and now I can check in the plugins. I have MorphoLibJ. I also have BIAP. So now the last thing we need to do is to actually install Salpo. So this plugin, it's just a bridge between Fiji and, um, and the installation of Salpos in Python. So we can launch it directly and it's fluid and we don't have to deal with anything to run Salpos within Fiji, but it's, it's just a bridge actually. And so you need to install uh, Salpos in Python. Uh, and, and then, so if you, if you don't have um, installed Salpos in, in Python, you can follow this link it's another video where I explain how to um, how to install Salpos. Uh, so I, I explain it. So I explain how to install it for QPath for the first part. Um, so I think we start by um, installing um, Anaconda. So everything that is needed, uh, creating a, a virtual environment, and then I show how to use Salpos within QPath. But at the end of the video, I also show how to use um, uh, Salpos within Fiji. So you can directly skip the QPass part and, and go to the Fiji part. Uh, one last thing that needs to be done. So as it's a fresh new version of Fiji, I need to do it. It's also explained in the video. If you go to Salpos, there's a Salpos setup. So we need to tell um, which, uh, so actually it's already uh, correct. That's my, my correct uh, install. So that's where I installed the um, virtual environment, Salpos GPU of in my work directory, it's a VNV. I actually installed it uh, to be used with a GPU. So I, I, I showed you two links, one for CPU install, one for GPU install. If you won't process tons of data, don't bother with a GPU. Now, if you really have lots of data and you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can try to install the GPU environment. It's going to be much faster, about four to five times faster. So if you have tons of data, it's it's a good idea. Otherwise, I would say don't bother with that because it's, it's a bit more complicated and the gain uh, might not be worth it. Version is 2.0, so I, I'm going to check OK. And now everything is set up to run the macro. I can actually open the macro by just do a drag and drop and you see it looks like this and I'll show you in a, in a, in a different video how you can actually um, use this macro and how you can tune the parameter to process your data.